In the past, we've told you about clashes among personalities on the Savannah City Council. Well, tonight, there are more fireworks and finger pointing. Alderwoman Linda Wilder Bryan had some strong words for colleagues Keisha Gibson Carter and Alicia Miller Blakely in a since deleted Facebook video. WSAD's Brian Gallagher is joining us now with more on this latest dust up. Good evening, Ben and Tina. Yeah, well, Linda Wilder Bryan posted the video in response to what Gibson Carter and Miller Blakely said at a prior city council meeting. The issue is a disagreement over a liquor license being denied to an African American business in Wilder Bryan's district. Now, the older woman tells me she feels she's being treated unfairly. And I don't want to keep being bullied and sit up there with the only thing I've done is breathe the same air. The older woman of the third district says she's had enough. Linda Wilder Bryan posted a Facebook live video voicing her frustrations about her colleagues. This after council voted five to four to deny a liquor license to a black owned nightclub called Crew that was trying to open in Wilder Bryan's district. Council members sparred over the issue publicly back in January, with one alderwoman accusing Wilder Bryan of being biased. Here we are basing our decision because of the personal vendetta that the 3rd District alderwoman has okay. against right. black-owned right. businesses. All right. All right. All right. But Wilder Bryan told News 3 the 3rd District is not looking for a nightclub and that the owners did not approach her about the idea until months after applying for the license. Several days after the meeting, Wilder Bryan posted a video on her personal Facebook page, calling the post to one and two at large alderwoman ghetto and seemed to compare them to Jim Jones and Adolf Hitler. I'm kind of uh, upset that I'm being interviewed because I said somebody, uh, people followed Hitler. People did follow Hitler. People followed Jim Jones. And so I can't get people who don't want to uh, agree with me to agree with me. And that's not my problem. I just don't like being called a racist. Brian tells News 3 she deleted the post because it has become a distraction, but also says she felt like she didn't have much choice because of numerous personal attacks during public council meetings. Wilder Brian also had this to say to a fellow council member referenced Wilder Brian's son shooting and death back in 2015. I lost a healthy 23 year old child that I didn't make excuses for, but yeah, I want to do something about crime. And for one of the one of the uh, at large aldermen to say that I'm being vindictive because my son got killed in a nightclub and everybody knows that's not true. Now I reached out to Keisha Gibson Carter who told me she does not condone Wilder Bryan's behavior. While well, I have yet to hear back from Alicia Miller Blakely at this time. Brian Gallagher, WSEV News 3 on your side.